Okay, so today we're doing something fun. We're just reviewing a product here that I picked up on Amazon. I paid full price, so I did not get it as a promotion. And what it is, is it's a butterfly habitat, but this is not a butterfly. What I put in this is a Luna moth. So we collect the moths at night, we put them in these uh, habitats, and this protects their wings so that we can photograph them. I'm showing you here that there is a transparent plastic cover that you're supposed to be able to look through, which you can, but it is not suitable for photography because it will distort the image. But there is a handy side panel that we can zip open here and then you can see it full size or you can get in there as it's designed to be a butterfly habitat. So you might be putting a pot of milkweeds in here and growing those with some milkweed uh, leaves being chewed by monarch butterfly caterpillars and then you keep them and then when they turn into their cocoon and they go through their metamorphosis and they hatch out they don't get away. But uh, when you put butterflies in them or moths as in this case we have the luna moth they won't hurt themselves and they have a nice texture to cling to so this vented mesh that's all over it is perfect for them to perch during the day and then of course at night and we're getting into nighttime now you just zip it open you can take them out and turn them loose if it's a butterfly after they've hatched out of their chrysalis then uh, you get to watch them dry out you can take pictures as i've pointed out if you zip open the side you get a nice clear shot of them and then you get a chance to learn a bit about them before releasing them so they can go out and mate and lay eggs and then the cycle starts again. So this is plenty large. It's 2 feet by 2 feet and then it's 37 inches tall. Although the listing said it was 36 inches, it's actually an inch taller than that and it's made by Rest Cloud. It comes in a two pack. I'll show you the smaller version that comes with it at the end. And we're going to take this Luna Moth out and we're going to turn it loose because the sun has set and we are going to let it find its mate through the night here. So again, if you look through the back side here, it shows that the mesh is an easy thing for it to cling to. We're also showing the underside. Gives you a chance to really look them over. Also, of course, protects the moth or the butterfly from birds and other things. You don't want to leave it out in direct sunlight, for example. You can uh, really take your time and look them over. There's plenty of space in it. So this would actually hold several milkweeds in pots if you wanted to, and you could have several monarch butterfly caterpillars or some other caterpillar if you're choosing, and then you could watch them go through and uh, consume the leaves and then spin their cocoons. So it's a great educational thing. These are very inexpensive. I'll have the link to them down below, and uh, you can look them up for yourself. Nice to have. As I mentioned, they fold flat good easy storage there and the zippers are nice lightweight easy to use let's get this guy out of here and get him going on his night hunt for a mate it is a male we can tell that by the broad uh, antennae that they have we're going to walk him over and put him on a tree here if everything goes right and he doesn't fly off and the cool part of this is these habitats definitely protect their wings moths are very sensitive butterflies are sensitive this little tear on the lower right wing there was already there. It's not new. So we didn't do any additional damage by putting them in here. You can set these up with a light bulb inside at night. And then moths will be attracted. They'll cling to the outside of it. And then the moths that you decide you want to keep for the following day's observation, you just collect off the outside of it and put them inside. And then as daylight comes, you'll have them to take pictures of and, of course, put them in a protected, shaded area. You also want to make sure the birds can't get them, as I mentioned before. So now, you know, they have really sticky feet. This thing is clinging to my finger. We're going to see if we can get them off here, but since he's hanging on so tight, I'm going to take this opportunity to photograph his head up close. If you notice, unlike butterflies, this moth has no eating parts. It can't drink nectar. It doesn't eat. All it does is live off the fat that's stored that it, uh, based on what it ate while it was still a caterpillar. So once it comes out of its cocoon and has become a full-grown moth, they don't eat anymore. All he's going to do is hunt a female. And he's going to do that by following her scent at night. Very, very interesting. Luna moths are in decline in some areas, so they're worth looking after. Off he goes. They're very good flyers. He's going to cut a corner here, and then he disappears from view. So that was fun. These are really nice habitats to have, no matter what kind of flying insect you want to put in there for observation. They are very handy. It's summertime. Great for your kids. Now I'm starting some seedlings here. These are 
swamp milkweeds that will be good for butterflies and other pollinators. We use these for our honeybees as well. So it shows you that we can tip this thing on its side and use it to diffuse the sunlight that's coming down. When you have new seedlings that are starting out, you want semi-shade but plenty of light, and this works great for that. Here's the smaller version that comes with it. 16 by 16 at the base and 24 inches tall. It does not have a solid bottom, where the larger version has this green fabric here. Uh, they're very nice. Again, they all fold flat. This one fits right inside the other one, so if you're storing things, uh, easy to put away. So start seedlings, protect insects, great, I highly recommend them. Thanks for watching.